I can't believe we lost to the Nets. I think again this time. We turn over the ball too much. And we let uh, leads. Um, we let this team get hot too much. Okay, let me get through this because this is... I just want this season to be over. Because we're looking like we're just... Degre uh, we're going... We're declining big time. And teams are starting to step up. And start hammering us. Uh, the Knicks lose again. This time to our borough rivalry. Um, Brooklyn Nets. And the Brooklyn Knicks suck. They got nowhere to go, but the same thing could be said about us. We got nowhere to go either. But they have more reliable talent than us. That's the crazy part. They have more reliable talent than us. Uh, they don't have a star player like Carmelo Anthony, but they have they have more pieces that work better. So Brooklyn Nets one hundred and nine to Knicks ninety eight. Uh, we pretty much we we dominated them in the first quarter, and then from since then, we got murked. From since after the first quarter, we get, we kept getting hammered. We uh we tried to close in the um the lead with the Brooklyn Nets by a little bit, like almost to ten, but that's as far as we got, and they just. Passed us by. And kept hitting us down. We turned the ball over too much. Um, our defense wasn't good enough. Uh, the opponent shot 48% from the field. 47 from the three-point range. That's just messed up. And we're good. We are one. Of, that's one of the best things about the New York Knicks. We're good defending the three-point range, and that's how we did it to the um, Golden State Warriors, who are the best at three-point range and take the most shots. The Brooklyn Nets, of all teams, dumped it on us big time, and they don't really have much of a, uh, a three-point guy is going on except for uh, Bo Donovic. So like I digress. Let me look at the Brooklyn Nets. Um, they have a couple people in double figures. Um, Joe Johnson. He's starting to creep back up. He's starting to show himself again. He had twelve point six rebounds, six assists because they were passing the ball, truly passing the ball a lot. Um, Titus Young had thirteen points, uh, five assists, and uh, nine rebounds. Uh, Brooke Lopez. The man of the night, dominating his uh, younger brother, Rob Lopez, down. He had 33 points, um, 8 rebounds, uh, 4 block shots. Uh, we have Ellington, um, the veteran, 11 points. You have D. Solomon, the fill-in fill point guard, um, 14 points, uh, 10 rebounds, uh, four assists, two steals, and then you have Borg Borgdanovic, uh, with sixteen points, four out of five from the three point range. Okay, Carmelo Anthony had twenty two points, uh, seven rebounds, six assists, uh, three steals, a block shot. This guy, he's doing work. He's playing like a leader. He's passing the ball. He's rebounding. He's doing all the bitty stuff. But if you don't have the pieces around you to work with, it's just like it just looks like it's just an individual work. Um, it doesn't help overall because none of the teammates are stepping up. Um, Porzingis had 18 points, eight rebounds, three block shots, a steal. This guy just put in work. But nothing coming out of it. Um, uh, 10 points from Rob Lopez. 7 rebounds from him. 17 points from Aaron Aflalo. Uh, Jose Calderon only has 7 points. 
Um, yeah, he shot three out of nine shooting. Luke uh, Langston Galloway had nine points, and pretty much everyone else, nothing. This coming summer, we're gonna need a huge change, a real change. I don't see a couple play players coming back. I don't see I don't see Aaron Afalo coming back. We should have traded him because most likely he will opt out of his contract, and we'll lose him because he probably want to go to a better team. Uh, we should have traded Derek Will um, Williams. We should have traded um, Kylo Quinn. We should have traded uh, Jose Calderon. And Serpian too. Kevin Serpian. Because uh, this second unit is like you got to notice when they get hot. You got to keep on the floor. But they haven't gotten hot in a long while. They haven't played the ball well. They haven't played defensive well. It isn't. It doesn't seem like this second unit is doing anything. And now you have to put in the starting lineup, and they try to make a comeback, but it just falls apart. I will keep Langston Galloway because this guy is youthful and he's fast and he's intense. He gives energy to this team. Um. I wish. Um. I, I can't even say that. Uh, I'm just done. This team is just falling and falling apart. And this team look was looking like a playoff team. At least an eighth team. Even though you get eliminated the first round. You can say a lot for yourself. It will make this team look good in free agency. So people will just come closer like, oh, this team got something going on. Let me go over there. We're getting spanked hard. To, by the Brooklyn Nets, no less. Um, even though they got pieces, but not a t uh, playoff um, team, though. So, the Knicks lose again. And, th and he had a week to prepare, too. Next game is Minnesota Timberwolves tomorrow. Something that a team that we should be able to beat. The Brooklyn Nets um, face Charlotte, Bo um, Charlotte Hornets, sorry, who whose a team is uh, starting to pick things up big time. I think they're in a playoff team. I think, but damn, like the Knicks are just failing me like so badly. It's like just get your hopes up and then just drops it on you. Like nah, this off season we're gonna have to dump a lot of players. And most of all, we need a head coach that is good. A Mark Jackson. A Kevin McHale who was fired earlier. We can use something like that. A guy who is very experienced. Um, he will probably help um, Przingis even more with his post game. And even maybe Carmelo Anthony. Like, shape things up a bit. But still, gosh. That's it for me. Um, see you guys.